Hello everyone, this is Anru. We'd like to propose an open problem today. So let's start with tensors. Tensors are arrays with multiple directions, and all the D tensors usually include D directions. Uh, the tensor has become an active research area in the data science. So there have been many data sets that are naturally in a tensor format, like brain imaging and genomics. In many other problems, although the data sets themselves are not tensors, by transforming them to a tensor format, the things can become easier. In many tensor problems, such as tensor completion, PCA, and clustering, there is often a geometry gap between statistic limits and the computational barriers. Oftentimes, when the signal-to-noise ratio is strong, the problem can be solved in polynomial time. When the SR is weak, the problem is not solvable statistically. When SR is moderate, the problem is hard in the sense that the problem is solvable in super polynomial time algorithms, but may not be solvable in polynomial time. To identify the statistical limit SRS and the computational limit SRC are crucial in understanding the computational feasibilities for various high dimension problems. So there have been many ways to justify the computational barriers. Among these options, the average case reduction provides a one-shot solution. Once it was established, all the computational hardness result of the conjectured hard problem can be inherited to the target. So to do average case reduction, it would be ideal to start with those commonly raised conjectures, such as the planted cake detection. However, this rule is often difficult to achieve for many tensor problems because of the multi-way tensor structure. Instead, we can do average case reduction from the hypergraphic planted cake detection. Now let's formally introduce HPC. We consider order D hypergraph, where each hyper H is an order group of D nodes. We consider the Erdos Renyi hypergraph, where each hyper H is connected or disconnected with half chance. We also define a hypergraphic planned kick model when we first generate the Erdos Renyi D hypergraph, randomly pick a cake half a nodes and connect all the hyper edges among them. Now the HPC detection is essentially a hypothesis test. Given a hypergraph G, we want to know whether G is from the vanilla Erdos Renyi or G contains a couple size clique. Especially when D is two, HPC reduced to the real regarded planet heat detection. But different from PC, the HPC for D greater than or equal to three is much less explored in the literature. The computational limit was recently conjectured to be square root of n based on the analysis of spectral methods. So there have been some evidence to support this square root of n rate. For example, Lu and Zhang showed that the low degree polynomials and the metropolis algorithm cannot solve HPC in polynomial time when the click size is significantly smaller than square root of n. So therefore, we would like to raise this conjecture. If the click size kappa is significantly smaller than square root of n, there will be no polynomial time test, making both the type 1 and type 2 errors small. We want to know how hard HPC detection is. In particular, we want to raise the following open problems. First, an, the order D hypergraph naturally reduced to induce uh, order D tensor, say A. So one straightforward way to solve HPC is to perform SVD on the matrixization or unfolding of A. This method is in parallel to the spectral method for vanilla planted click detection in the literature. So what would be the sharp limit of kappa for this polynomial time algorithm to work? Is there another polynomial time algorithm solving HPC even if kappa is smaller than this threshold? Such result has been studied for vanilla PC in the literature, but is still unclear for HPC. And secondly, we cover more evidence on the hardness of HPC. For example, how hard is HPC in other regimes such as SQ, SSS, SOS, and so on. And finally, recall that the HPC and the PC contraction share the same computational hardness threshold, square root of n. This will bring us the following question. How does the HPC computational hardness compare to the PC computational hardness? First, HPC detection is no harder than PC detection. This is because if we can solve PC easily, we can solve HPC by solving PC slice by slice on the adjacency tensor. On the other hand, how easy is HPC detection compared to the PC detection? After several unsuccessful attempts, we and some other group realize this problem is quite difficult. I feel that this is a high risk, high reward task. Once it is done, we, we, we reach a point that the PC and HPC detections are equal, equivalently hard. So the hardness result on the PC detection can be applied to HPC. It will also provide evidence for the hardness assumptions on, of the generalized PC and making many computational lower bound easier to prove, as suggested by Brenner and Bressler in their recent paper. So that's all I want to say for today. Thank you very much for your attention.